Hello, today we're going to talk about solo bandos 6-0 method with a crossbow or both uh, with the uh, accurate method. But we're going to focus on how to recover from mistakes. Let's start by looking at gear. Now, gear is, you can just bring a bunch of uh, range gear, but what I wanted to mention here is that you, you want to bring some defense initially because this boss it can be very punishing for mistakes. So notice the shield. And once you're really good, you can consider swapping out the shield for something better, say like a buckler or even a uh, god book, whatever you want. But I, def I highly recommend getting some range attack, melee defense, and even mage defense. And looking at it here, uh, we also have you know the Zami item and the Bandos item that you can be flexible with as well. So let's jump into the guide. So a little background about this boss for myself. I actually died about 50 times in my first 100 kills. I almost gave up. I, it was very frustrating. Eventually I finally figured out some tips and methods that will just help me be consistent. And that's why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to share these tips with you guys because it, it can be frustrating sometimes when you're learning and you just keep dying over and over again. The boss is very punishing. If you make a single mistake, he will hit you and, his, he, and he will hit you for up to 60. It usually it's about 40, 40 something damage. And what happens then is you end up eating, and after you eat, you mess up your whole cycle. So you, on the next corner, you get hit again, and, and the cycle continues, and you can either have no food or you get specked out with his minions stacking you. Uh, so that's you know that's why it's really nice to it, it's nice to watch a guide and say oh I can do that, but then when you go do it, you find out oh my god this is actually really hard. Like how am I like what am I supposed to do when I make a mistake? And inevitably, you will make a mistake. That's why I say bring defense. You will make a mistake, defense will help you mitigate those defenses earlier. And then once you figure out how to do it, you can do whatever you want. So, um, let's actually, I'm gonna re just really quickly go over what the method is. The method is you run the four corners, just like Ziliana, but you must hit at a very particular uh, spot. I don't have tile markers turned on, so I'll try my best. But if you have tile markers, I do recommend turning them on. Um, uh, I just don't use room light. It's a, so personal preference. So really quickly, you'll hit here, 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 and here. These are the six zero. You hit him six times, and he, and he hits you zero times. And the biggest mistake people make is not switching to prey melee when they make a mistake or when they think they'll make a mistake. So just watch here really quickly. You'll see that it's really important to be on the prayer page. You've got to flick melee when you think you made a mistake and then flick back to range when you're done. I can't stress how important that is, so let me repeat it. You must flick melee when you think you made a mistake or you made a mistake. Stay on protect melee. You will die if you don't. So let's jump in. The first part is always the same. You will get hit no matter what. So you pop up, you go in, and the moment you go in, you go to this corner to start the rotation. You pray melee. Like I said, he hits you, you switch to range immediately. And would you look at that? I made a mistake already. I did not go to the corner. And what did I do? I switched to prey melee and I back to prey range. He didn't hit me there, but I still did it. So even if you switch to melee and it didn't and nothing really happened, that's okay. You gotta get into the habit. The moment you make a mistake, you just gotta switch to melee. The correct way, as you can see here, is I was supposed to go to the corner, hit in the corner, remember? Next hit on this, not at the corner, but slightly to the right, five, five tiles actually, and then hit in the middle here, and then hit on this corner here, and go back to the starting position, and restart this whole cycle. And the moment you hit, you have to keep running. Okay, so here, let's talk about the ticks now. You have to hit, you have to actually click attack a few tiles before you reach the tile you attack. So I wanna hit at this corner, right? I'm actually clicking attack, like right about now, see that? And now this is very important, Th this one here. About four or five tiles north, I click attack. And the moment I click attack, I turn around and I keep running. It's a, you have to kind of get used, get used to it, but it's almost like you're, you're smoothing, like you're dancing, you're like you're smoothing across the floor, like skating, I guess. I'll go into a slow-mo later to show you exactly where to click the hits on. But here we kill him, and let's just briefly talk about what, what you do after you kill him. You want to finish the range melee, the range minion first because he hits the hardest. So if you miss a flick on the range minion, he will hit you very hard. I'm only flicking two uh, combat styles because I have a lot of mage defense, so I'm just tanking the major while I kill the ranger. Yeah, 
this and it, it's not the this does take some practice but once you get the hang of it it's very easy you're, you're just flicking back and forth between two prayers or three if you get them all off tick uh, and then you kill them you use the bones to peaches to get more health i have a draw here i, I chose draws some people don't have draws but use ancient magics to use blubber rock to heal off of the minions uh, either way is fine uh, that's not really important the point of this video is going to show you how to avoid the band offs and there's and it's important Bandos is the one who hits up to 40, uh, who hits up to 60 with his smashes, and his range attack hits up to 75. These minions, they only hit up to 20 something. I think the ranger hits up to 22, and all, and the melee and the and the and the major only hits up to like 16 or something. It's very low. That's why I gotta reiterate one one more time. The moment you make a mistake or you think you're about to make a mistake, switch to pray melee. The worst that can happen is you no longer pray ranged, and the ranger hits you for 26. Now, if you don't switch to Prey Melee and Bandos smacks you, that's definitely going to be more than 26 damage. Almost always. So again, hover over Prey Melee. That's the single most important tip. Alright, so when I finish a kill, I go to this corner and I wait for him to spawn. And when I spawn, I just run south and I start the cycle again at the, at the bottom right corner. Yep. So this, so this time, let's actually go slow-mo on some of the key, the key points where people make a mistake. First of all, here. The first mistake people make is clicking the wrong tiles up north here. So watch carefully now. I am supposed to run to four tiles to the right of the northwest corner, but I only ran three tiles. And because of that, Bandos will always hit you. Watch. If the moment I stop and attack, I'm actually only three tiles, not four tiles. Uh, to the right and I know he's gonna hit me and what do I do I pray melee Did you guys see that did you see how I pray melee there so now that I know I've made a mistake I know for a fact on the south east corner which is not this corner but the one after this corner Ben also always hit you I'm not exactly sure why but the moment you make a mistake anywhere on the north wall anywhere on that north wall there he will, he will, he won't hit you on this north uh, east corner, but he will always, always hit you on the south east corner. So let's just slow mo again and let's watch what happens. I'm already prepping myself. I'm on the prayer page. I know he's gonna hit me down here. He always does every time I make a mistake up north. So I'm already ready. Uh, in the moment I, I get myself down there, I will, I will flick melee, and I'll take a hit from him. Uh, if he ranges, that's okay. Because he will, if he ranges, he might hit you up for 35, not to 60. It's still manageable. If you don't protect the melee here, like what I'm about, what I'm about to do, you will get smacked very, very hard. So here we go. Let's see that do a little bit now. I do make a hit, I think. And when he's close enough, I will pray melee. Okay, let's 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 continue. Okay, so earlier I said anytime I make a mistake on the north wall. You are gonna get hit on the south east wall. There's two places where you can make a mistake that I see most commonly. The first one we've already showed you, which is here. Instead of running four tiles to the right, you ran three tiles, and you saw me got hit there. But this time I, I did it correctly, and now this is the second part. This part. This hit between these two walls is very easy to miss that hit. And if you miss that hit, which means you just ran straight forward. Then again, you have to protect melee down here. Obviously, I didn't miss it, so I don't need to change prayers. And then I can safely walk away. It looks like Bandos is about to hit you every time you make that corner, and it's very scary, but just believe in yourself. If you don't miss a hit here, and if you don't miss a hit here. Oh, I did! Okay, well, this is perfect. Let's look at let's look at it's gonna be the same thing over again. I'm gonna protect melee. Ta da And he well, he ranged me this time. I, I tanked it. Remember what I said earlier, you need to bring tank gear. So, because I know I made a mistake, I am now on edge. And I'm going to protect melee here on this corner too, just in case he hits me. He doesn't, but the, mo but the fact that I did it means I'm safe up to 35 hit points. If I'm above 35 hit points, he cannot one-shot me. Remember, always pray melee when you think you made a mistake. So the fact that he didn't hit me on the northwest corner, and the fact that I made this hit, means I'm right back in the rhythm. So we're now good. We don't need to pray melee here. And one more tip uh, is that in this bottom wall, in between, you don't need to hit. See how I didn't hit there? So you could actually use this wall to eat. Uh, it, 
I think I did eat there. But now that we know we're back in the rhythm, see, I'm not prepared for the king anymore. I'm just back into this groove of getting the right hits. Remember, if you miss a hit on the north wall anywhere, all three of those spots, if you miss a hit, you will get hit down here, right here. That's the key here. And just keep, keep your prayer page open. So about eating, I prefer to eat on the south wall. You, are, you, you actually have enough time to eat two food on the south wall there. It doesn't have to be crumbs to, uh, to keep. But if you were forced to eat in any other place, I would just protect melee on every corner until you feel like you're back in the rhythm. In this next clip, I'm going to show you where a lot of people have been telling me they have problems with. They say they missed the south east corner, the one where you would get hit if you were to mess up any of the north wall. But sometimes, I think they're just making a mistake on where they're clicking. So watch carefully. You actually click attack about three tiles above the corner. And the reason for that is because your character lags behind where, where he or she actually is. In Rune Light, there's a feature called True Tile Marker that you can see where your character actually is. In conclusion, guys, if you make a mistake or you think you're going to make a mistake, pray melee. That is the one trick that will make you better at this boss. And it took me 100 kills, 50 deaths to, before I figured out I should just pray melee. It's a funny story. I actually figured this out by just having a run where I played melee the entire run. I realized I didn't take that much damage, and every time I made a mistake, I just negated all his damage. So I hope you all learn everything today, and good luck on your drops. Here, I show you, I got my BGS Hell Drop, finally, at 980 KC, I believe. I was pretty dry, and oh man, was I excited, because this unlocked Corp for me. And this boss, after 900 something kills, I think it was it's a pretty fun boss. It, it it's not as skillful as a Seer of Blood, but there's definitely a lot of tricks in there. And I hope you master it too. Bye.